What's going on guys? Happy Monday. Did you do anything fun this weekend? I went to an outdoor movie. It's pretty sick. This weekend we got some really awesome videos up. We did the IDQ subwoofers from Image Dynamics. These subs are made in America. They're bass heavy, high quality build, great sounding. So check out the video clicking up top. We also went over Kenwood's brand new bass bundles. Each one comes with two subwoofers and an amplifier. They're great for new people to car audio to add some bass to your system with ease. And we also checked out a single din flip up radio from Kenwood, the KVT701BT. This thing has HDMI so you can mirror to it easily. Seven inch touch screen flips up, USB, Bluetooth, dual phone connection. It's a solid radio, check it out. Coming up this week, we're definitely going to get our video up for the line output converters, I promise. And we're also gonna check out this cool little thing called the RMX7BT from Sony. They call it an in-car Bluetooth commander. What it does is it adds Bluetooth functionality to your car if you don't have it using the USB for power and an auxiliary. I'm gonna test it out today, make a video on it, and hopefully if you guys need Bluetooth in your car and don't have it, but have an auxiliary, input this will definitely work and I'm sure I'll get something else up we got a bunch of new radios in the mix so stay tuned and let's let Boston Jim take it away for top comments all right all right let's get this over with and dead running on fumes I was up till like like 5 a.m. with my boy Mikey we were throwing rocks at trains you know that's what we do we grab a couple cores lights cause the banquet beer and you know that's what we do all right, Francisco Munoz wrote, I've been watching videos all day, just q and I've learned a lot. I feel like a pro without the tools. Looks good, shit though, much respect. So what happens when you're dealing with the best in the business, all right, kid? Uh, on a Double Din install video, Richard Wayless wrote this video as shit, does not even explain which colors to connect. He's probably referring to the wiring harnesses. What do you expect us to do? Come hold your hand while you do everything? You want us to hold your d while you piss? There's an instruction manual. Why don't you pop that bad boy open? It's got diagrams of what to do. But you know what? We'll, we'll make a wiring harness video just for you, Wayless, Walrus, whatever your name is. MIG wheels. Holy crap. Do a voiceover if you can look at the camera. MIG wheels. I have two words for you. Proofread. Tug Speedman wrote, how can we mirror our phones to your hot? Oh, that's pretty sweet, Tug. Randy Mola, who judging by the photo is a three-year-old girl, wrote, what a tool. I'm not gonna insult the child, all right? Ghost wrote, damn, Boston James, you're an asshole to the fullest. Happy face, LOL. That's one of the sweetest things anybody's ever said to me. Sounds just like my mother. Theo Neck 2 wrote, good God, he was annoying. Hey, don't talk about God like that, all right? On the Kenwood Bundle video, we recommend using 10-gauge wire. So Austin Liebo wrote, how can you recommend 10-gauge wire when you don't know the length of the wire needed for the install? We're talking about the subwoofer to the amplifier connection. Who's, who's installing this subwoofer is 20 feet away from the amplifier, huh? They're fucking close, usually. If you're dealing with the power wire that you run through the entire car, that's the one you have to really worry about the length of the wire to go down and gauge, all right? But subs and amps are usually next to each other. All right, Austin. All right, I gotta go. I got a date at Outback Steakhouse. Lumen Onion works every time. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Let's have a great start to our week. Leave your comments below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon.